guys, so today I'm in West Hollywood. We are right outside of Dumpling Monster and over here they make their own dumplings. They have special kinds of dumplings. They got pork, chicken, they have vegan, they have vegetarian, they have pork with uni and they have pork with black truffle. They just have so much variety of food. So let's go inside and check it out. I can't wait to have some dumpling. All right. Hey guys, so take a look. We are trying the food here out at Dumpling Monster in West Hollywood. So I think these are really cool. They got these veggie looking ones. So they also have steamed dumplings, pan fried dumplings, all kinds of dumplings. Let's try this, all handmade. Mmm. Mmm. No. Oh, yeah, so they got vegan options here available. Mm. That's really good. Mmm. Alright. Well, I like legit grew up with dumplings. This is making me so happy. And these are the soup dumplings, Shalom Bao. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. This is the pork and crab flavor. Yeah, they got seafood mixed in with their Shalom Bao. It's crazy. Mmm. Mmm. And honestly, when I was growing up, I can eat so many dumplings. Mm. You gotta eat 40 at least. Mm. Got plenty of food in front of me. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, these veggie dumplings are actually really good. Inside. Got like spinach in there, different kind of veggies. Very good flavor. Love the pan fried ones. Mm. Mm. Also got their popcorn chicken right here. Mm. I'm drinking one of my favorite drinks ever. Coconut water. Mm. Alright. So I want to talk to you about how I broke up with my ex boyfriend. Um, oh, wow. His green beans are really good. Anyway. Mm. So you guys know, like, he was very friendly, don't get me wrong, but he wasn't mature. Mm. In terms of like, he's at a very young age, and when you're in a relationship, when you don't know like what you want to do in life, it's very hard to have a relationship. Because he kind of made like his life all about me, when I'm like, you need to have like your own life, you know? Mm. Oh, these green onion pancakes are amazing too. Everything here is handmade, sorry. I my mind's all over the place. Mm. I just start thinking about food at the most random times. It's fun. Mm. Anyway, the relationship is about more like, you know, like you guys compliment each other's life. Um, not like, oh my god, everything is like about you. Because you would be texting me. Like, you know, I, um, Hey, I'm at school. Hey, I just got, I'm on break. Hey, I just got out of school. And I'm like, I don't really care about every little detail. You know? And then, um, you know, when, and then that was, and then when I was with him, it was a time I started to get more like um, work and stuff. And then I was like, like, he, he would get mad. Like, hey, if you didn't text me, are you mad at me or something? I'd be like, no, I'm driving. You know, like, if I didn't respond right away, you know, he'd get very clingy. Mm. I'm not really like a super clingy type. I don't know if you can tell. Mm. My zodiac is a dog. So I'm like a dog. I'm very loyal. But I just need to like be free and let loose and let, like do my own thing, you know? I just need to like run around. Mm. 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 But I always come back. I don't know what he was worried about. Mm. Good. Oh no. Oh. Mm. So yeah, like it was 
too much. It was like too overbearing. I honestly wanted to break up with him like a lot earlier. But you guys saw his grandma loved me so much. His grandma is so sweet. His entire family was very sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a chicken dumpling. Wow. It's fun just to guess like which dumpling is which. Mm. And his grandma was a sweetheart. She would make me food after work. You know, make sure I'm okay. sometimes stuff like that you know mm. it was very very difficult uh, I still remember when I broke up with him the hardest part was like it, was, it wasn't just breaking up with him it was breaking up with like, the entire family his um, aunt was there his mom was there grandma was there you know, they're like, Raina, don't leave, you know, but it was like really hard to do that. Mm. Mm. This is a relationship with the family. And you know what, that's like what I learned. Like, you shouldn't really introduce your significant other to like your family too fast in case they get too attached, unless you're like really serious. Mm. Ah. I knew his family like right away, which was kind of like my fault. Yeah. You know, I, we bought each other gifts like really on early in the relationship. And then, oh my God, like I stayed with him for like an extra four months, like five months because of his family. Like I couldn't like let go of his family. Right. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> that soup dumpling just popped in my mouth. It's so juicy. These dumplings are amazing. Mm. Mm. And honestly, these veggie ones aren't that bad. Mm. I like them. Yeah. <coughs> That's too much. Mm. Mm. Also another big thing was a telltale sign when we were playing video games. I'm a very big video gamer. Um, when I was playing League with him, it wasn't fun. Mm. He would get so stressed out, you know, blame the game on everybody else. Um, when, um, Honestly, really, the problem was him. But it's just, you know, like, video games are fun and everything, but it's, you need to find something else to do with your life. I'm, I'm kind of, like, beyond the point that video game is my life. And then, like, on his free time, he would just be playing video games, and then, like, it, I just felt like his life wasn't progressive. Again, like I said, he just made his life pretty much about me and video games. He doesn't have, like, his own kind of goal. And that's why I say he's, like, figuring out his life, and, like, he wasn't ready to be in a relationship kind of thing. So that's what it is, like still being immature about stuff. Don't, don't get me wrong, he's a very nice person. I have no like ill attention towards him. He just thinks like I hate him. You know, it's like it's like you know like <clears throat> naive relationship, oh she broke up with me, she must hate me forever. And I I don't hate him at all, but he thinks that. Mm -hmm. No, that's where the immaturity comes in. But not my problem. I don't hate him. I still love his family. Mm. Mm. I still talk to, to his um aunt here and there. Oh. Mm. But like I 
said it was um it was my fault for using him I kind of like as a rebound relationship um, Because I seriously moved into it like too fast. Mm. Mm. You know what? That's you live and learn. That's what you learn about different relationships and stuff. Oh! Ooh! Wow! That was a black truffle dumpling. Never had black truffle in my shell ball. Very unique flavor. It's mixed in with the pork. Mm. Mm. Oh, they have such unique flavors. Let's try these spicy wontons over here. Mmm. <clears throat> mm. Wow, nice blend of uh, sauce and oil. It's perfect. It's not overly oily. Mm. Flavor is like on point. Mm. The green onion pancakes are amazing. Mm. You guys never tried green onion pancakes yet? Let me try it. Mm. It's like. It's a nice flaky, crusty, crispy kind of bread. Mm. It's amazing. Anyway, back to the relationship. Um, what else was there? What else went wrong? Uh, <clears throat> I also felt, felt like he had a weird sense of family, and it kind of put my grandparents off because um, his parents weren't married but they're together but they're like living separate houses it's very weird and then his aunt doesn't like his dad and there's like a whole bunch of different family troubles you know oh yeah another thing is I kind of ignored it at first because you know in the beginning you're kind of like in a honeymoon phase and you kind of forget, you kind of oversee things like this but he cuts this to his mom and he didn't like really respect his mom. Mm. And then that comes with like the whole immaturity thing like you don't really respect your parents and stuff. But that's because he didn't have the dad in the house. You know, he didn't have the dad in there to tell him, hey, that's not right, you know? Mm. And the mom is too, like, timid um, to speak up. Mm. His aunt lives with them, and it, there's twins. So his aunt and mom are twins. So his aunt lives with them, and she's kind of like the dad, but still, she's still not really a father a, a figure. Mm. So, there's just a whole bunch of tension. They're all very nice people, but they just have like so much problems in their life that they need to figure out first for me to come into the picture. Especially him, he needs to grow up. He's too like narrow-minded about life, and I'm a very, you guys can tell, I'm a very ambitious person. And I kind of need somebody who has that kind of like, same mentality as me to kind of like have a forward-looking kind of path. Mm. Like what else am I going to do with my life? Um, Like what else is going on, stuff like that. I am nowhere near full, by the way. I can eat so many dumplings. <clears throat> Especially good dumplings, these are really good. Again, we're at West Hollywood. You guys see like to-go pickup and stuff. Oh, <sighs> 
Yeah, they got like Grubhub, they got Uber Eats. Mm. They also got noodles. They have entrees. They have beef, uh, beef rolls, noodles. Mm. And my biggest thing is um, they're very clean. It's very clean here. I love it. Everything's organized. Everything is like a good uh, portioned out. The meat's portioned out. Mm. This spicy wonton is amazing. appreciate like at least say like you know just show more gratitude towards it and it kind of like bothered me because you know I would put a lot of effort into like making him happy and stuff and he wasn't really reciprocating it as much as I wished him to starting up YouTube and he wasn't really um, supportive of me doing all of this stuff so like I can't have somebody not supporting what I do or believing what I believe in you know
figure out what you want and need from another person in your life as you grow up. Mm. It's okay, I hope it's doing well. Like I said, I have no ill attention towards him. The one before him, though, though, like this, that was really bad. Okay, I don't wish ill intention towards him, but. I just hope he realizes the stuff he did to me and somewhat feel um, sorry for it, but I never want to talk to him again. Mm. He's actually married now. Good for him. But uh, the one before the previous one? No. No. I might open up and talk about that one time, but not right now. I'm not ready to talk about that right now. It gets very emotional. Mm. Mm. But either way, like I said before, it's because of these relationships and these like experiences that makes you the kind of person you are today. And I am here knowing what I want and have this kind of like ambition because of these experiences. So, you know, like I'm not regretful, but I'm also like, it happened, you know, stuff happens. That's my story. Hope you guys liked it. You are who you are today because of all your experiences, but I actually am not even like really that full. I eat so much dumplings all the time, but it's okay. It's like a good meal. This is a good meal. It's my normal meal. Oh. Anyway, very, very good dumplings. So many different flavors. It's so unique. I've never had black truffle dumplings. That's my first time having black truffle dumplings. But yeah, if you are in the area near West Hollywood, check them out. We are at Dumpling Monster. They're in there, like this uh, location building with like house, apartments above it, complex. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, if you visit them, that's what I sent you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, sorry. Ah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.